my name is Jessica Holyfield and I'm a professional dance choreographer and dance educator based out of the southeast of the United States and we're taking a look at Dream Girl by IOI. It is because we're doing a Chung Ha marathon and I thought what better way to really see her is seeing her time in IOI and then seeing her transition into more solo work and I'm pretty pumped about it. So far I've had a great start with Produce 101 and I've already seen her more recent work too so I kind of know what I'm looking forward to anyway. Uh, but yeah, so I think without further ado we're going to take a look at this one. We're going to look at the music video and we're also going to look at a live uh, fan cam of the performance so we can look at the dance. So let's go ahead and check it out. I would feel that way too. Oh, I've heard this song. Okay. Let's go! You got this. You're so close. Cute. It's a fun little finish. Oh, here we go. Look at all of our completed projects. Look at that. Yay! Oh, 
fun. Hey! Very enjoyable, honestly. Dream Girls from IOI. I did think somebody said, I think it was in these comments, they were like, Dream Girls, follow your dreams. And then also, I think uh, whoever was at the convenience store is Mina. Mina, I work at a convenience store. Here's the thing. If if that's your niche, then freaking go for it. Live your life. Love it. You know, because some people really enjoy particular industries that other people wouldn't enjoy right like there's some people that are like I would never be a dancer and others would be like I will never be an accountant you know but some people find passion for that and so I do like the versatility of the different types of lines of work and activities that they've showcased here it actually has some degree of inclusion which I appreciate so let's go ahead and take a look at a fan cam so shout out to Pierce for this particular fan cam that they have um this was from, let me see, this was from 2016. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So it's all 11. It's at a model festival. So it's not on a music show. I'm really trying to avoid the music show ones because these will get blocked if I try to do something from M2 or from the Mnet stuff. So I'm trying to meet in the middle on it. This is a good full fan cam. I feel like a lot of people have seen it um, and received and it was received well. So let's go ahead and watch. Oh, fun. I love the audience. figured out there you go very nice Yes, ma'am, Miss Chung Ha. Nice. Chunka is 
really great movement quality. She knows, she really does know, like, she has great performance and stage presence, which is half the battle, truly. Like, the fact that is knowing, here's the thing, yeah, I'm familiar with Chung Ha, like, facially, but it's still, like, this is still, like, 2016 Chung Ha, not 2024 Chung Ha, so it's almost 10 year difference, and I can still pick her out in a great way, you know, in the sense of, like, how she is able to exude herself in confidence. I love it. So let's go ahead and go from the top here. So they start in the beginning. Oh, hold on. I'm going to start, like, right there. Cool. So from the beginning here, does it feel like they're lip syncing? Maybe. I mean, I know a lot of groups have talked about, I think AT's actually talked about this, depending on the venue and location, sometimes that it's going to be more practical to lip sync just because either the sound equipment or just the, the playback or the feedback, it's just a bit tricky to navigate through. So I totally get that. I respect that. That's fine. It doesn't bother me when groups lip sync nearly as much. Um, just as long as the voice that we're hearing is their actual voice. That's my that's my my hot take on it. But from the beginning here, the little shoulder syncopation, which is nice. Bam, bam, they bring it down. Really great level representation. Really nice and clean. They take it, boom, we'll swing over. It looks really fun. Nice little transition over. So it does give me a lot of like, it's like cutesy and playful. And we're not teetering onto anything like, we're not we're not baddies, you know. It's not that kind of concept. And it, it's fun to see them all showcase, you know, a lot of really nice fun vibes, enjoyable, like, oh, let's go, you know. It's fun to just have some cheer. It feels very cheerful, which is enjoyable. It's nice. Then he threw, boom, ding, ding, ding. I really like that choice. They're going one, two, I think one, two, three set like that maybe or like this maybe one two three possibly I like that though I like the choice with the little swings down I really like that they go down the dive in notice Chung Ha she said okay whenever they have those little choices so that's where you would get that little like potential baddie energy but it's not really that type of concept but it still works whenever you have that little pocket or that little moment the switch over like that dee 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 I love that. Notice with Chung Ha, she takes her shoulder and really creates a lot of fullness whenever she drives it down. It's really nice and enjoyable. So honestly, Chung Ha is a, per a perfect person to watch. If you're covering this in any way, I know I'm late to the game compared to when this came out, but she would be a really good person to look at for this, right? Uh, and yes, it is my Chung Ha marathon, so we're going to naturally pick her out a little bit more, but it's... It's kind of hard not to anyway, even if I was just doing an IOI marathon. I mean, I technically am as like a mini, but it's it's still like she stands out in a really great way and not in a distracting way like I've talked about with other groups. And it's not saying that those groups have that they're doing something wrong, quite the opposite. It's it's mostly just say when you have roles like main dancer and I don't know if they have roles assigned in this. Um but whenever you you have a type of position, there's like that sense of you, you're filling in gaps, you're making sure that we carry the tone and set the tone appropriately for the routine. And I think she's doing a fantastic job of that. And I think a couple others are doing pretty good too with the swing through. I think Joan So Me is doing pretty good. I like her movement quality on this. But just Chung Ha naturally stands out in a fun way. I like the swing, swing, na na. It's just, it's cute. It is flirty, but in a cute way. Yeah, definitely. I haven't seen these types of concepts in a hot minute for myself. I'm I'm in that baddie era with a lot of the a lot of groups that I've seen, or the it's a very fundamental heavy in a particular style. So it is it's nice to kind of have this type of it's it's a bit of a refresher for me in comparison to a to maybe a, a different reactor or an analyst um, because I'm so used to a particular like niche choreo. So this is fun. Bring it through. I like that they take it in opposition. They bring it back. Little train, boom, boom with the hair flip. I really do like the intention that they're doing with their head and a lot of the movement. It creates a sense of depth, which is really nice. Like the switch over, which is fun. Just say, come on, let's go. Digging it through. Your time is coming. Let's go. Great performance. She even showcased it well in the beginning. Everybody did the arms, and Chung Ha was the only one who didn't really use her arms there because it was her time to be featured, which makes sense. She says, ha, it's cute. It's on. Let's go. Little pony action is remind me of some overlap of what you saw in Produce 101. They take this da 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 with a little clap. I love that dee 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 with a little mmm. Cute. It's just cute. It's fun. It feels like a nice little bridge between what happened in Produce 101 and them as a group. So I am curious about their future work. Because um, I do know one of their songs, What a Man. I've heard that song. I have not seen them, nor have I um, seen the dancing or anything. So I don't know choreographically 
what's going down with that. But I'm curious if we're going to continue with this type of concept because that track doesn't sound anything like this. Um, it, I'm curious what the what the what the bridge is going to be. So I'm 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 having I'm having a blast just looking at this a little crisscross, and then you have um like crossing your arms, and you have one of them just throw her arm. She has her moment and over on the side, very clear to see because everybody else has an absence of movement. And then we go. Bringing it through, nice little pre-chorus, boom, dream girls, let's go. And then that, okay, so this is very familiar to me. I know a lot of people covered this, or it wasn't before challenges were a thing, like people covered this, or they really enjoyed the choreo of this. Dream girls, it's fun, it's playful. Da 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 da, dream girls, it's just a nice little shoulder. Let's do a shoulder show for four counts, you know what I mean? It's good, This the choreo is really practical for singing live. You know, and it feels very much like it was tailored to that. Taking it through, slide through, then they pick up that leg, they drop it down, little shoulder shrugs back to a new transition. You notice what's happening here is her suspender is dropped, but she's gonna do a fantastic job of seamlessly transitioning it out to make it a nice moment. So even here, very clear, this is kind of one of our overlapping formations we've seen where you have like a, a core group in the middle. This reminds me of the very beginning of Crush from their live performance. I don't know if it was of these 11, gut tells me potentially, but you have your your outline three and then you have your five. And then I think Joan Sumi was in center for that too. So there could be an overlapping choreographers for this. I don't know, you let me know. It does feel that way. Girls, and one of them did more like a fighting, you know, kind of encouraging encouragement kind of cheers vibe and when everybody else continued on with the movement so that was a good way for us to see her as a feature i also like the subtleties of everybody wearing the same you know top and skirt but they all have different types of like of school ties you know so i really like that it's fun it feels like we have some sense of individuality but we still have uniformity which is great switching it through i love that ddd ddd of course you know you notice with some of them bum, bum, bum. it's just more place others you can really tell they're very familiar with just how to shift their weight effectively everybody has their own kind of specialty is what it's giving here but I like the fact that they're able to showcase as a group I know a lot of them have worked really really hard so it's nice to see that I know with one of them too you notice she it does feel like she's going the wrong way because everybody in this line is going this way and and then she's hanging out over here does it bother me not at all not really it's alive they're they're doing great then bring it back in commit to it we hit it through to the side, hit, boom, 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 nice little shoulder syncopation to get it right to the inside to match the tone. And I also appreciate that this is technically, I think, a, it's a skirt, but also it could be a skirt, which is, has shorts underneath it. I like it because it probably makes them feel more comfortable dancing as well. Nice presentation. Yeah, let's go. Nice little, <laughs> they take it through notice so the movement gets more full. We're adding more of a bounce and a rock to what's going on. I love that choice. And the tone has changed and the rhythm has changed. So it makes sense why we would make that choice choreographically. Picking it up, nice little body roll to pick it up. Super fun. Little roll through. Nice little, you know, little, little baby dip that she did there. She says, let's go. It's a nice little word play that's happening there. They're switching it through, digging through. I know some of these movements may not feel the most comfortable because of what they're wearing, but they're doing a great job staying together, showcasing what kind of transitions and being clear on what the movements are and doing their best to not feel awkward. I'm very, very proud of them for that. I love this little moment. That was cute. She has a really nice, like this concept is very fitting for how she comes across in her stage presence. It looks really nice. And I am, like, like I said, very curious about seeing what the subgroups and all of those things have in store for us in terms of their other discography. I know it's very short lived, but it's still very fun. We got a lot to look at. Take it in, they dig in, boom, dun, dun, dun. Really like that choice as well, fun. Da, 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 mm-hmm. Let's go! <laughs> Little ponies to separate once again. Really good on the formations. For a fan cam like this, it's very easy for us to tell if they're off on their lines. And there's some really, there's like barely subtleties in whether or not it's like a straight diagonal. But they're doing a great job with it. Love that right there. Yes, ma'am. Da, da, da. Wow, let's take it to them, girl. Let's go. Love it. Da, 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 da. Cute fling that around one of them was a little bit more subtle in her movement good chance she was probably singing at that point right and then it goes bring it around we're right here into the dream girl so this part can be a little tricky because you're repeating it a lot dream girls three four dream like in my head i'm like trying to think how would i get my weight shift without making this 
like lower in integrity right so they're doing a fantastic job keeping this how it needs to look with what's going on with the rock with the hips of the ISO this is this this can be a little bit of a brain teaser if you if you're not thinking about it da -da -da, dream girls heading it through two ring two three and I do know for me I know with a lot of the girls in this this is not the most complicated thing that they've ever done good chance they've done some pretty complex stuff um I know some of them have dance backgrounds so I know like sometimes you have to like find a balance between your singing and your dancing and finding a middle ground collectively as a group because I know some of these individuals probably prefer to sing over dance so this is going to be so we're going to kind of see just a difference between their movement qualities. Also know too, they're not going to have the same degree of like implicit cohesion, meaning that there's um, how what they're all exposed to, to where it just feels like muscle memory. Everybody's muscle memory is slightly different because of the type of show they were on and just the short livedness of the group. It's a project group, you know, so to take it through. I like the little pickup is really nice. Shoulder shrugs look great right here back into a formation we've already seen. So. Do we repeat? I mean, yeah, but nothing that makes me go, oh, I'm bored. Like, I don't feel that way. They're doing a good job of really presenting, and it feels like the fans really are enjoying it. Da -da -da -da. And it looks like they're having fun. And it does feel different, you know, compared to there's there's a certain degree of stress that comes into when you perform on a, on a sh like survival format. Um, I've experienced a couple of auditions where, like, it just feels different when you're auditioning for something or you are in line like in a interview process or in a process where you can be hired for something it's this is technically you're being hired to be in in a sub idol group that you know is going and programmed through mnet so it's going to have a some degree of success you know because it's like a one of the first of its kind here right i don't know if this was the first one i think so because i know they did a, a boy equivalent and then they, they they kept doing like these types of produce shows right and then you get through it like that, boom, boom, and a do -do 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 -do. nice little shimmy to come down from that. Dad, dad, that was fun. Different formation here, so I do appreciate that. We'll swivel in, which is nice. So you can paint it once again. Ba, ba, ba. Little heart. Ah, ah, and cute. It's like, it's egg as a concept. It's cool. Uh oh, one of our friends forgot, but I love how she was like, ah, this is the wrong section. She gets right back in it. No problem. I appreciate that she's able to brush it off. That was fun. I don't know if you noticed that, but come on, Miss Chung Ha. So it does look like Jun Song Mi and Chung Ha tend to have. It could just be maybe because my focus is is really going to be on Chung Ha, and of course with the feature of Jun Song Mi because I've looked at some of her stuff, and there is some similarities in terms of overlap and dancers that they've both used in some of their concepts, which is kind of kind of dope, honestly. And you have everybody, dream girls, boom! And yes, let's have fire, why not? And then have one of them showcasing right here. Now, would this be awkward if she wasn't actually singing? Yeah, I kind of feel like they are singing even if the backtrack's really loud. That would kind of be my guess more so than are they singing or not. I love that, boom, and the ah, uh, and I love that. Very nice and clean, turning it around. Switching, boom, 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 boom. So they have like a subtlety and ISOs as they switch it over. It does remind me of, um, you know, like 24-7. And I know that we, um, or 24 hours. And I know I just watched Chung Ha do like a little excerpt of that with someone. But it's still, it's still really fun to kind of see that kind of, you know, it's in the same family of ISOs and taking your hand. And it's, it's, it's pretty uh, polyrhythmic in, in the demand of what kind of ISOs you're doing. You know, so I like that, taking it over, swiveling it around, picking it up. I love that point. Nice having the three. Broom, broom. Love that. We move over. Dream girls. Now we're right here back to the formation we were in before, but I think it's just a different order. And then you have a subtlety that was happening from one of our Miss Actress, I think, over there. No, that's not Miss Actress. Miss Actress is somewhere else. I feel it. I don't know. I don't think she's there, though. This is fun though. Da, 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 da. The swishing, ding, ding, ding. This part was was cleaner that second time. De, 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 de. Or maybe that is her. Da. Yeah, it is. It's her smile. I noticed it because of her smile. They they come in. That that. That was cute once again. Heading it through, and then they take it. They use the shoulder on that, which I appreciate. So yay for that. And then they go to have a little accent at the end, and they finish. Crowd goes wild as they should. Really fun to see. 
I'm glad they were able to have, you know, uh, these types of opportunities to be able to perform together. And I do know some of them, like I've said, uh, are now soloists and they, they're part of other groups. So I do, I am glad that hopefully this did propel them into other um, wonderful opportunities. And I do think some of them did have great opportunities come out of it. Uh, so it's really nice to see them in this way. Yeah, is this simple? I mean, yes, in the grand scheme of choreography that I've seen, yes, it is on the simple scale. But can, does it lose value because of that? No. No, not at all. I actually, I, I appreciate it because just like we can appreciate concepts that are more the batty kind or the more complex or very physically demanding and a bit risky in, in terms of the, the danger or just the quality of like elite level dancing. I also really enjoy appreciating this, the simplistic cutesy agio style as well, because I think that it just showcases versatility between uh, somebody's movement quality, somebody's performance and stage presence. And it's just a really good way to, to kind of be like a middle ground. It's a middle ground concept for people, for, for, for them, I feel, especially because I can tell that some of them cater more towards singing over dancing and some dancing over singing. And so I feel like this style is a good hybrid for both. So everybody can, it's like a win-win situation with this type of style. Um, and I like it and, and it is just, it looks good on them. And it makes me very curious about what we're doing moving forward from here because I know this is technically their debut and I know Crush wasn't because they said like Mnet wanted to what's the word um go back and make sure that we have the concept in play for them and this that, and the other which I get it's fine but this is you know the first of a couple of really fun takes that we get to look at so this is this is enjoyable Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch. If you want to see more of Chong Ha or more of IOI, I have it on YouTube and I'll have so much more on Patreon. More of Chong Ha than IOI. I'm, I'm looking at the group because I'm doing a Chong Ha marathon. And so I just thought it was really fun to kind of take a look at more of her origin story, kind of, at least in the media context. Of course, this is not her like inception, inception, but it's still really nice to see her in this way. Uh, and I can't wait to take a look at the future work of her specifically. And it's just gonna be awesome. Once again, my name is Jazz. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye.